Hello, Crypto Finder crew. If you struggle to wrap your head around cryptocurrency, then you're in the right place. I've created this playlist as a series with the aim to break down the topic into a digestible language. By the end of this video, you will have a much better basic understanding of what cryptocurrency is, how it works, and what the hype about it is. So that the next time your partner asks whether you've sushi swapped your ass coin for some cum rocket, you don't have to slap them for being inappropriate. Concepts like staking, mining, or even the blockchain itself on which everything is done can be a scary concept. But once you understand the basics of them, it gets a lot easier. Personally, I think if everyone had a better understanding of it, we could achieve the next big step into the future of finance, banking, and technology. It's honestly really exciting stuff, but it's also really easy to form a belief that the crypto space is dodgy or illegal because all the media ever reports is bans on countries like China or a large hack that leads to 50 gazillion dollars going missing. But if you step aside for just a second and question, why is that? you might start to realize that perhaps it's a threat to our governments. But we'll talk about that in another video. Before I continue though, I will be telling you a lot of information and none of which is financial advice. My aim is to enlighten you enough for you to start digging deeper and research your own facts and figures. Believe me, once you get into it, it's really hard to stop. So let's get started. The first question we need to clear is, what on earth are cryptocurrencies? Well, this one is actually fairly easy because the name sort of gives it away. Just like any normal currency, like the British pound or US dollar or the European euro, which by the way are called fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies are the same, but just digital. And to understand the difference, we need to have a better understanding of how fiat currencies work. Today, electronic payments and digital money is not only common, but has become the most important and ubiquitous money form. Fiat money derives its value from the trust in the government and its ability to impose and collect taxes. Every cash bill has a serial number and every account has an account number. It's all a string of numbers that tracks, locates, and monitors our money. At the end of the day, money is all about numbers. And similarly to fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies are a string of numbers and letters containing the serial numbers of the amount and location of said coins. The only difference is that there isn't really a physical form of them like cash does. Instead, it's 100% digital, which, to be honest, doesn't feel any different to fiat currencies these days. I literally can't even remember the last time I used cash to buy something, apart from that one time a policeman took my cash and never gave me a speeding ticket. Weird. As well as there being no physical form of a crypto coin, like Bitcoin, the same applies to crypto accounts. They don't have a bank card. Instead, it's all just a digital address. Or if you're very smart, you could turn a USB stick basically into a offline wallet, but we'll, we'll talk about that in another video as well. Most importantly, any cryptocurrency account is owned and held by you, not the central bank. You are the sole owner of that account and nobody can access it other than you. The upside of this is that nobody can block your account, shut it down, or block your transactions. The downside is that if you lose access to that crypto wallet, or the recovery phrase to it, then, well, that account is gone forever, and nobody can help you to recover it. In the current traditional banking system, central banks and governments keep track of everyone's account balances and control their movement. When you buy something from a shop, you provide the merchant with your bank card, and the merchant then goes to your bank and asks the bank if you can make that payment. And if it's a yes, the payment is made, and the bank updates their records. But in the crypto space, these records are held on all the computers connected to the cryptocurrency network. This information is publicly available on the blockchain, which is a public ledger, just like the bank had when you made that purchase in the shop. So instead of trusting a central bank, we people hold each other accountable for what happens on the blockchain. Except it's not people, it's a computer, many of them. And because computers process these transactions, they consume energy. And to repay them for the computing power, 
they are rewarded with cryptocurrency in the process. This process is called mining. This entire process is very secure because there is no single point of failure like a central bank would have. If one computer goes down, another will take over and finish mining the block on the blockchain. If what I've just explained made sense, then let me throw some stats and facts at you real quickly. So the blockchain is split into blocks. Think of them as bricks. Each block contains a number of transactions. And once the data is validated, the block is closed and permanently recorded on the blockchain. A Bitcoin block, for example, contains about 500 transactions. And it takes about 10 minutes to mine, after which a new block is formed and begins its mining process again. So now that we've established that cryptocurrency is effectively an online version of a bank, but not central, instead decentralized, let's set some important myths straight. Why is cryptocurrency associated with money laundering, dodgy scams and other illegal activities? Well, firstly, we need to understand the different ways in which you can store cryptocurrency. And to do this, I've made a separate video that explains all of this thoroughly. Please go ahead and click this link to carry on watching this playlist or save it for another time. But be sure to subscribe if this is a format you've enjoyed and want to see more of. But for now, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.